Hi everyone. I was thinking that it would be really, really cool if someone were to create a platform where gamers on a universal level can sign up and compete online with multiple games um, like the Olympics I think that's Um, I think it's the Olympics, Olympic, the Olympic Games, yeah, the Olympic Games, like that, and, um, but instead of it just being, uh, instead of it just being a physical activity, which everyone would obviously promote um, and, it, and it's great but what about people that can't move that can't run that maybe are paralyzed or or something like that or are handicapped and they have special needs or something then I guess there could be one for those uh, class of, of people um, as well so that everyone will be able to compete on different levels um, and also some people just don't have the money to go and travel like that buy the gear to compete and stuff like that so I guess, and then I guess whoever's really, whoever scores like a high grade or scores the highest on these games that are, that someone puts together and compiles and they're willing to make it a competition, then they could be rewarded And this could be in um, in different types of you know games and strategy strat strategic type of games that are maybe challenging or whatever. So you know this will help out um, even like the. There's a military video games. Um, and we're gonna look at some some uh, oh, let's, I guess I have to write real not because it's not a game. Yeah, but anyway, um you know, like, uh, there's some for, um, like flying drones with, um, remotes and stuff like that as well. Um, like this and other other um, complicated um, games so this will not only help people mentally and bring peace like the Olympic Games that do and I've read that and everyone knows about that because they were going on 
through World War II and a bunch of other things, and it was um, a global thing. And I'm I'm not I don't really know my history, so it could have been World War One or World War Two, but these people can be filtered out. By that I mean, if someone gets a, a high grade on one particular game, and the military sees that, then they can. Go and talk to that person to maybe work for them, especially if they have a high grade on or high score on this particular platform that I'm speaking about. Um, and then there's different, various different types of games. So they'll be able to be selected accordingly and accurately. And obviously there's already stuff like that going on. This is not something that's new, especially with the military video games. But it's not really a video game. It's real, real stuff. And this would just give other people an opportunity. And if that needs to be classified information, then it could just be pre presented as um, Olympic Games, and anyone can you know anyone can uh, sign up. So people with their cellular phones or smartphones will get a notification, and they'll be notified. Okay, the Olympics start on this day, and end on this day. So that'll give people. Um, that will give people the, the opportunity and chance to compete. Um, but obviously, this is all really optional. But I think it would be cool. Um, and yeah, there's no telling what we could do and, and offer to people that have... Um, disabilities and that are confined to a wheelchair for for the re remaining of their lives and unless they they have some form of um, like apparatus uh, robotics that they can purchase or that is given to them for their the functioning of, of and mobility of their bodies but even then they also can be limited although there has been some who have surprised many by By going out there and doing something and doing what they, what they, what they think and they, what they can, not what can they, but what, what they have thought of doing and they have surprised many people. So, there's no telling what this can present and offer to the, these type of people and beyond, like there's other people like even under them that need more hope you know because these people that I'm talking about are people that are are accomplishing something they're out there exercising or whatever it might be they're doing something and obviously they are giving hope to people that are in the same situation that they might be in so by doing this as an alternative option um, it can bring a lot of healing to individuals who are you know stuck or they feel like they're stuck 
and they can't go anywhere, they can't do anything. Hello, this is Francisco. Um, what is this regarding? That was for Ken Lindbergh. Construction. Yeah, labor. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. So anyway, that, that can be categorized and filtered out not filtered out but filtered with different subjects and different degrees of um, of functionalities or, or not and that can be presented and input it in the beginning of their sign up process before entering these digital Olympic games. And obviously, with that data, it can be recall for a specific given purpose or mission. Now, everything else after that is pretty much self-explanatory. And that's when those who are hired can brainstorm and come up with different options and solutions for this to work effectively and professionally for all. 